So I'm going to teach you how to embed, how to pull data from another Word document and have it update it for you when you open this document. So basically we're talking about dynamic text referencing effectively. So I'm gonna call this text example, this document. And hopefully if I make this, whoops, that's all I wanted to do. God damn it, there we go. All right, so I will save this as embedding text example. However, not a docx file. It is important that you select a docm file. And I'll explain that in a moment. So save that as a docm file. And now let's reference some text. So. Let's open up another text file. I have something called company art processes. I will crack that open and I will copy this list. So selected it here, hit the copy button, went back to my Word file, paste, but not paste, the arrow underneath paste, paste special or alt control V and make sure that you click the paste link because otherwise this is not gonna work. This is the magic sauce. So paste link creates a shortcut to the source file. Changes to the source file will be reflected in your document. Make sure you read all that stuff clearly. Do not select HTML format because for some reason, at least in my version with Microsoft Word 2007, the object gets corrupted. I always select unformatted text or Unicode text if you're dealing with international characters. That gives me the most power. So here we are, it has been past pasted in and if you click on it, you'll notice it goes gray. It's all one selection selected object. You can then format it the way that you want if you wish, not a big deal. If you right mouse click, you see that it has this update link and link to document object. This is important. This needs to be here or this isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna save this file and I am gonna close this file. Now I'm gonna close this file as well, just to make a point. I will open it, let's say someone else goes into the company art process and says, no, it's not no lights, cameras, or dummies. I'm going to say everything in the scene. So that's item six. I will save that. I will close that. I will go back to my text example. And here it says, this document contains links that may refer to other sites. Do you want to update this document from the data from the linked sites? Linked file, sorry. Hit yes. Let's look at no lights, cameras, or dummies in the scene. Hit yes. Nothing happened. Why is that? Well, because for some reason, the links in text are different than the links from other objects. So if you go in, you hit update, right mouse click, update link, that works. Okay, so this is what's different in terms of like embedding spreadsheets and diagrams. You have to do that manually. That sucks. So this is now where the document M, the doc M, the macro kicks in. We can write a single line of code that makes this work automatically. How do we do that? We go to the developer ribbon, we open up Visual Basic, and we make sure that we have this document selected under the project. So we open that up. We wanna do this on open, so document, on open. What do we do? We say this document dot, I think it's fields, oops, dot update. And that's all we do. And we save it. And now it's been saved in the file. However, this is where things might get a little tricky. And I'll show you why. So let's close this file. So macros are very dangerous because there are lots of people who do bad things and put viruses into macros. So by default, Microsoft Word does not have macros enabled. So you need to be a little careful because this will trip you up. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change the company art process to almost everything in the scene, bang, bang, bang. So then you know that things have been changed. And I close that. So that is what is gonna happen when it gets updated. So 
we now go and open up our docm file embedding test text example and here nothing happened it's the same thing that happened before however you notice now there's a security warning macros have been disabled we want to enable these macros so go to options say enable this content because we want to be able to have this happen at all times um, so if you do this I guess I do want to save it and now it has refreshed it and I hit yes and as you can see now it has been updated so now this works but there's one last thing we should do to make things less annoying because you are going to have to do that every for every single document you are going to need to open so instead there is something else that we can do so let's go and close this file let's not save it because we want to have it updated again open it up again and it's going to say the same thing and it gives us the security warning one more time but this time we're going to go to options enable the content but open the trust center which is the link to the bottom left of this dialog box and this trust center says allows you to be basically have trusted locations which is the second button in the list on the left and here in the case of our situation where we trust everything that we do in Dropbox because it is part of our organization I can say add new lo lo location and go to Dropbox and also subfolders of this location can also be trusted and hit OK and now that it's there it has been added hit OK enable the content sure I guess I'll save it and this time it updates it automatically